So good afternoon, sir. Our study is about the level of satisfaction of the students on the Ateneo de Davao University clinic services. As we all know, clinics take a huge role in schools when it comes to medicinal and um, well-being matter, like in times when a student when a student needs a treatment as well as the institution staff. Um, therefore, this study was conducted for us to know about the satisfaction level of those who have been to the university clinic, specifically the eight different divisions of the student body who are enrolled in the university as, as they apply their right on, of usage on the, medi the clinic's medical purposes. Uh, and also for us to determine if there has been a diff significant difference among the satisfaction level of the respondents. Moving on to our, moving on to our conceptual framework, the university student body consists of eight different divisions, which were the School of Arts and Sciences, School of Education, School of Engineering and Architecture, School of Nursing, School of Law, Natural Sciences, Computer Sciences, and lastly, the School of Business and Governance. So figure one here shows the variable of the study. The first box, the first box here contains the independent variable which were the university, university students. And the second box here is about the dependent variable which was the satisfaction level of the university clinic services of the students. So there was only one independent variable which was study. So let's talk about now about our statement of the problem. As we gathered our desired data on measuring the level of satisfaction of the students on the university clinic, we were able to find out that the answers of this we were able to find out the answer of these following questions. Firstly, what was the demographic profile of the respondents? Secondly, what was the student's level of satisfaction on the services of the university clinic? And lastly, was there a significant difference on the level of satisfaction of the university clinic services? So furthermore, during the process of our research, our team hypothesized that there was no significant difference on the satisfaction level on the university clinic services, which will later on be discussed if this was rejected or not. Okay, so now um, we have used a several methods in uh, gathering the data that we have for the research. So the first method would be uh, to gather data from the eight school divisions in the university, which are the SEA, SBG, SON, SOE, SAS, College of Law, NSM, and CS. And the responses that we have gathered was uh, gathered through Google Forms. Hence, the researcher randomly selected 330 university students here in the um, school. Second one would be we have made a survey questionnaire and then we use the linear linear scale with one as a very satisfied and ten as very satisfied. Third one would be we have used Kolmogrobs for no for testing normality and test of homogeneity of variances to determine if the data is normally distributed or not. So um, so, um, as a result of our test, uh, the research design that we have used is the Kolmogorov Smirnov test, and then these are the satisfaction levels that was entered in the test of normality. So, the results shown here in the SVG. So, the statistics for the SVG is 0 0.103. The degree of freedom is 98 and then the significant is 0 0.012 and then as we've noticed it is um, less than the normal which is 0 0.05 so we are going to use the non-parametric test for this one. So now we go here to our results. So the first figure, we have here the demographic profile of the respondents. We have SAS, SBG, SON, 
SEA, NSM, CS, College of Law, and SOE. So the largest portion of our respondents is the SB, SBG division. So the table one represents the mean, median, and standard deviation of each division. So as you can see, the lowest mean we have here is the computer studies division, and it also has the lowest median, which is 6.4. So the Kruskal Wallis test, the result of the Kruskal Wallis test, we have the chi square 20.171. The degree of freedom, degree of freedom eight, and the asymptotic significant significance of zero point zero one zero, which um, which means that we reject the null hypothesis, and that means that there is a di significant difference uh, between the divisions in their level of satisfaction. has a significant difference when it comes to their level of satisfaction provided by our university clinic. So the result shows that the computer study has the smallest satisfaction mean in the med median, which means that they have the lowest satisfaction when it comes to the services provided by our university clinic. Thank you.